Hello and welcome to Release Date Rewind. My name is Mark J. Parker and I am a film lover, filmmaker, film celebrator. And normally this is an audio podcast wherever you get your podcasts on your favorite apps. But thanks to Portland Media Center, you are about to watch the video component of this show where I celebrate movie anniversaries with my friends. Each month, I usually talk about two different movies that I love with different friends. And we talk about the making of the movies, trivia, any fun memories associated with them. So I hope you enjoy because now it's time to rewind. Well, it was just a rough time for everyone back then. Oh you know? my God. Like, thank God. I mean, we were, I'm sure we were live in another life doing something, but yeah. thank God, at least in this life. Oh my God. Yeah. That would be rough for everyone. Even, yeah. even Jack going around to different countries. It sounds amazing, but oh my God, you know, that was a hard life. Like, you know, it was a struggle. Yeah. Barely eating, just sort of like, mm -hmm. you know, he's looking on the bright side, but some of those nights I'm sure were pretty miserable. Yes. You know? I wondered that too. when he was talking about, you know, it does sound very romantic and just, oh, oh, I'm traveling everywhere. And I'm like, yeah, but were you like on the street? Were you going hungry some nights? Were you cold? Were you, you know, like what, yeah. what did, I don't know. I was just curious. I was How just many curious diseases about have you gotten like, you know, right? I mean? like that's what I was thinking. Yeah. Like, you know, even on, even on the ship, I love when he says to um, the guard, he says, uh, we don't have lice. We're American. And he's just lying about Fabrizio. <laughs> I love that line. And, and the we're American. Like, okay. We're, <laughs> Like, yeah, you're, like, you're fine. I'm like, oh my gosh. Meanwhile, like, these guys are the dirtiest guys you can let onto the boat. Please check them. Come on. You know, I'm oh shocked there wasn't like an outbreak of something before the iceberg hit. I, mean, I know, you know, right? The like... iceberg was probably like, guys, I'm doing you a favor. You all would have like <laughs> died of lice. Like, I'm trying to help you out. <laughs> oh my God. They've got you trapped. If you don't break free, you're going to die. It's a ship. There's only so many places she can be. Find her. Iceberg, right ahead! Why do you love this movie? What are some of your favorite scenes? What are some of your favorite lines? Let's nerd out. What do you love? So I think, you know, considering it's a three hour movie. So mm -hmm. right off the bat, you know, when I was going to rewatch it, I was like, here we go. Like, buckle up. You know, yep. it's a long. But I have to say, it's very well paced and, yes. and just beautifully like edited. It didn't feel long i have mm -hmm. to say you know you think there'd be scenes where like oh my god let's move along but i rarely if ever felt that i think every i, I just think it's a very good well put together movie um mm -hmm. considering again it's freaking three hours you think like yes. oh here we go originally he wrote it to be four hours fyi oh yeah so the he... <laughs> deleted scenes that are on youtube i think it's like half an hour total of footage yeah and let me show you katie <laughs> as i'm coughing I forgot I had this. I've had this for years. It is oh the Titanic God. illustrated screenplay. It is a massive book. It's, yeah. Honestly, it is so cool. I'm like, I kind of feel bad that I like still haven't read through it. It's the yeah. whole script with yeah. pictures from the shoot and even like behind the scenes stuff. And what's so cool about the script is it includes the deleted scenes and with oh. his notes, like deleted in post for pacing. Oh, all I love scenes that. involving the Marvins deleted prior to shooting. So this is not the shooting script this is what he originally wanted and it was like wow oh my God. It's, it's like four hours scene, scene 261 wow so to your point it is long and there are so many scenes but i completely agree with you i yes. was shocked i happened to check the time and it was an hour and 10 minutes and i was like whoa that was a didn't fast feel hour like and it 10 minutes uh -huh. right and i yeah. think you know it's just it's so well done um as a movie the characters are engaging they're interesting um we already talked about how great the actors are um the, it's a beautiful movie it's shot beautifully um you know with the scenes with the ship and you know oh, the yeah. sunrises and sunsets um it's just a beautifully shot movie um i love um of course, I love Jack and Rose. I love the love story. Um, they have such great chemistry. I think they, you know, really make the movie because it wouldn't have worked if like the two stars didn't like have great chemistry. Yeah. Um, and they're like best Absolutely. friends in real life. They're adorable. I know. Um, I love. That they're they so cute. Like family. I think but I they, read somewhere. Yeah. Her kids call him like Uncle Leo. Mm -hmm. and he, I know they they reunited on the movie Revolutionary Road, which was so good. So. Dark. Oh my god! What an also with Kathy movie. Bates. That's funny. Oh, I just yeah. remember it also. That's a true. That's, that movie reunion. was like, whew, that was a oh, rough one. It was great, but, but it was like, like 
it Ooh. was it's so great but it is it's emotionally it's draining it's an emotionally you gotta, draining movie yeah. you gotta put on a comedy after that but yes. um he even like got her a ring i guess after that and there's an inscription in it that to this day she has never said publicly what it says Aww. i love their friendship i Aww. love that they didn't end up becoming a because everyone Cause was pushing every, for it when this yes. movie came out they're like oh they're definitely together and they're like no no, no we're just like really good friends and you totally. know no one you know a man and woman can't be friends in, in this society, exactly. I guess. But, um, and I love that. Right. Yeah. They truly never really, they're just, um, like soulmates, but in a friendship yeah. way, like just, yes. yeah. It, it oh. makes this movie even better, you know, with the legacy that it's like, they actually like love each other as family, you know? Yes. Yeah. Agreed. There, there were no um, fighting. I know there was fights, I guess, James Cameron, which I'm not surprised, I guess, did a lot of yelling and yeah it was a rough with. shoot it was pretty grueling um but you would never know from watching the movie because you know um yeah. it's yeah it it's look. great um yeah the end scene with the the ship when it um when it's sinking it's it's so jarring like uh it's just so i keep saying it's like it paced well like um yes. and yeah so i i was surprised how much i i enjoyed it upon a rewatch because i wasn't sure yeah. i was like is it gonna be hokey like i'm gonna be like all right Right. No, like I still cried at the end and was yeah. still really, you know, into the whole, into the whole movie. Um, and like I said, I it, it didn't feel long. Well. Yeah. It does. It really does. And even the special effects hold up really well, um, yeah, there were which I know like it got. Two or three moments that I was like, oh, that's funny. And one of them, yes. which I remember catching years ago as well. Not, not like in the initial theater run, but like maybe 10 years ago when they're running and it's that iconic scene where the water is just rushing down the hallway mm. and it's later in the movie and they're running towards camera. You can see, I mean, it's pretty cool, but you can see their faces are like digitally put on the bodies like those oh, are not their bodies i didn't so, notice yeah, you, that <laughs> sometime when you rewatch re check that out and then i know um i know some people had some fl like gave it some flack for like uh some of those beautiful wide cgi shots of the ship in the water if you look closely some of the people are walking like sims, oh you can so, tell like, they're cgi right yeah yeah. yeah which i'm like whatever. whatever like yeah. it's 1997 like let's you know <laughs> like, yeah yeah um, i think it's it's and i i have to say i love and I remember them very well. I love whenever uh, it's either old, you know, like old meaning, um, you know, beautiful new Titanic shots of the ship. And then it like uh, transitions to the old, to like yeah. you know, modern day or mm -hmm. vice versa. I love when they do that. I am yeah. such a sucker for that. Like when it's the railing is all decrepit and then all of a sudden now they're standing there and it's beautiful and we're back in 1912. Yeah, wow. it's that spooky. Like look, yes. see when they show that and and um, the whole and he, beginning is spooky. Oh, I mean, it could it's very really much spooky. be like a horror movie. It's and mm -hmm. it's funny. I still have never seen The Abyss, which is a film he did. I in didn't I tell you last time to see it when we did yes. Terminator Two. Uh -huh. I said like, you need to see The Abyss. I'm gonna tell it's you this again. I'm, <laughs> as I'm watch rewatching, I'm like, oh, this is kind of like The Abyss, even though I haven't seen that. I'm like, Katie told me to watch that, I <laughs> and I really should. But, um, it's good. Yeah, yeah it's really it's good. Like it makes me think of the the commercials and the trailers and the photos I've seen of the abyss that it's like spooky and sci-fi and you know we're deep in the depths and mm -hmm. I feel really dumb, but I either did not know or completely forgot that that is the real Titanic wreckage. That they're, yes, that they're I. Well, so James Cameron did about twelve dives. Um, yeah. So he started uh, thinking about doing this movie um, after doing Terminator 2. Right. Um, so he was kind of thinking about it. Um, and he actually joked at one point, he's like, I I just really wanted to get an excuse and the funding to dive and see the Titanic wreckage. Totally. So I'm like, let's do a movie. Um, but he did about, he did the first dive. He got pretty much all the shots he needed for the movie, but then he went 11 more times. He was so um, emotional and and um, taken yeah. aback by um, by the wreckage, like just thinking about, you know, the massiveness of the ship and and 1500 people that lost their lives and so he he um did 12 dives and and him and his brother actually um mike cameron i think his name is um develop he, they developed a camera so they could like do the right. underwater shots instead of yeah. like because the, there was a documentary in like 92 um and it was in a submarine tech so he's like i didn't want to yeah. film it behind us like a window like a submarine type of yes. you know window so his brother um developed a camera to do like the deep dot and take Amazing. withstand a pressure to do yeah he's very committed i will say yeah. like he doesn't mess around when he does a movie you know oh but, no um, and I, I know he was quoted on this movie because it was a uh, apparently a 120 million budget i believe but then it ballooned to 200, 200. million yes yeah so when fox because i know this was a joint production between paramount and 
20th Century Fox, but then mm-hmm. it ballooned because James Cameron just had all these ideas. And apparently he said, if I write it, we shoot it. And it's like, yeah. whoa, yeah. someone's a little, you know, bossy. And, and he, he had said, yeah. you can fire me. But in order to fire me, you have to kill me, right? Kill me. I heard that too. I was like, damn, boy. All right, you're out about a 12. Take it to like a five. (laughs) But yeah, because they originally, the executives wanted to cut and add another hour off. And he was like, no. And that's when he, I think he was like, if you, you have to fire me or kill me, you know, that's fine. Um, Which I I understand. I mean, imagine you're you're in the business to make money and you, you hear that the movie's three hours and 15 minutes. It's like. But luckily, I mean, it still was a huge success. So people right. in this well, rare ex- situation, I did see that Titanic had about seven minutes in end credits. So, which I mean, is understandable. I mean, so that, well, yeah, because I think I even worked on this film. Like everybody worked on yeah. this film. Um, <laughs> my name might be in yeah. there. Um, yeah, they had a lot of budget issues. Um, and, and Cameron actually forfeited his his uh, director's, um, what's it called? Director's salary. It was like $8 million salary? plus, wow. plus his, uh, his percentage of the initial gross. Um, really? I'm, my notes. I'm like, yeah. Because he was like, didn't want to cut anything. They because they were like, cut another hour, mm. and he's like, no. So he, so he would only receive like a back end percentage if the film did well, Holy and clearly cow. he chose wisely. Yeah. Wow. It, it was some... it was a risk. Yeah. They I... talk about luck in this movie. A man, a, a man makes his own luck, or whatever yes. Cal says. Wow, James Cameron, you because he sort of he could have made nothing from this dialogue. movie. Oh yeah, yeah this he could forfeited have been... his salary wow. and the percentage. Yeah. I but he ended up being, wow. he ended up doing all right. Oh yeah, he's doing just fine. Good he's old good. Jimmy Cameron. He's good. Jimmy Cam. Uh, <laughs> Jimmy Cam. Titanic really packed the punch on the big screen. Um, you yeah. know, with of course the special effects, but just the whole movie in general is just so beautiful. It's but um, but epic. I think Avatar is the same. Yeah, because I know this was nominated for fourteen Oscars. Apparently, it tied with the old movie All About Eve. It mm-hmm. won eleven. And La La Land. Oh, did was La La, La, La Land nominated? had fourteen. <gasps> Yeah, wow. I didn't know either. When I saw that, I was like, oh, really? La La Land? I knew all about Eve. I was like, wow. Oh, all right. That's yeah, so 14. interesting. I missed that. Oh, my gosh. Okay, yeah. interesting. But La La, La Land good, did not but, win Best you know, Picture. So yes. I mean, it was like the, the movie it to get the most did. awards, but not Best Picture. I know. <laughs> right. The, the infamous La La Land. Actually, wait, Moonlight. Um, Oopsie oh daisies. <laughs> so cringe. Yeah. But, you know, and then I know it won 11 Oscars. So it, it, it yes. didn't win for the actresses. Any acting. It was nominated and Gloria stewart old rose she yes. was nominated um and then it didn't win maybe was it like it, it was, didn't oh, win makeup, makeup was makeup the yeah because uh-huh. i think it's the most nominated movie to not win any acting oh, awards that's interesting. Um, and it's the only movie or one of the only ones that um had um two acting awards for the same character because old oh, rose and young yes. rose yeah um until a movie in 2001 with Kate Winslet um, came out that was, that had the same thing happen. Oh. But um, oh God, Iris, or what's that yes, called? Iris, uh, Iris, I Iris think it's 2001. Her and, um, I think it's her and Judy Dench, maybe. Yeah. Okay. That's I've never funny. seen it. I remember it, but I, I never saw it. So I was like, yeah. oh, that's a fun fact. Um, yeah. Well, it got all think, the, Speaking of the Oscars, do you feel like Leo should have been nominated? Because I think he's really excellent in the movie. Yeah, I he's feel like, amazing. Come on, you know, like I, I you know, know what's that funny? was the year that Jack Nicholson and Helen Hunt won the awards because As Good As It Gets came out a as week after As Good As It this. Gets, which is also that a great movie, but um, a massive thing as well. Yeah. So I understand Did, why they won. Because he Oscars. didn't even get nominated, right? He didn't even he didn't, get nominated. Yeah, and I remember it being so. Of course, huge Titanic fan. Oscars around. I'm like. Leo didn't get nominated. I remember I was going to like pissed? burn the Academy. All the teen <laughs> girls were going to burn the Academy to the ground. Yes. And then, you know, um, and then the Oscar night, I here's my like number one foam finger in my Titanic hat. Like go Titanic, win everything, yes. you know, like, yes. so, you know, um, oh. yeah, I was shocked he didn't get nominated. And I remember being shocked at, you know, at that age. And I, yeah, I was kind of surprised because everyone else kind of got nominated deservedly. So, right. um, but you made a good point about Frances Fisher. Like, I feel like that, that could have been, you know, she was yeah, amazing I mean, in that. Gloria Stewart um, is great as old yeah. Rose, you know, but like, yeah. I don't know. I feel like that's sort of like an obvious nomination. Like, yeah. That was and I remember of... being shocked she didn't win because it was Kim Basinger yes, that one, right? Kim Basinger for LA yeah. Confidential. LA Confidential. I was going to be the old lady. From yeah. LA. My dad was really... like, really? And my dad was like, yeah. they didn't give it to the old broad? Like, what? Right? <laughs> The water is freezing and there aren't enough boats. 
Half the people on this ship are going to die. For God's sake, there's women and children down here! Let us out so we can have a chance! And going back to the runtime, I do love that James Cameron and, the, and his team took their time to really develop these characters. Do you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like, a movie nowadays... I thought of it when we have that smash cut to her crying and running. And I remember as a kid, I was like, oh my God, what's going on? What happened when she's going to try to kill herself, right? Yeah. Because it just goes from her zoned out to like, whoa, that's a smash cut. But yes. even that scene, once she makes it to the stern of the ship, the, the you know, and she's looking at the water and we take our time, right? She, we had the shot of her foot, her hand. A movie nowadays, she'd be climbing mm -hmm. over that within seconds. And then right. come in. Like, they wouldn't take would their time. Be, it would just be faster. So yeah, yeah, it's a long movie, but it doesn't feel long, like you said. And mm -hmm. I really appreciate that we we were like with them in every moment. Like I don't think anything was rushed, and I don't think anything was slow. The pacing was awesome. That's why I'm glad it won editing. But I am surprised yes. with all those Oscar noms, it didn't get a nom for screenplay. Yes, it didn't, and I think it's one of the few that did that like has all the other. Nominations, right. but not screenplay. I remember yeah, reading that, and I was like, "Oh, yeah. interesting." You know, there are some things like Greg was watching a little bit of, with, of it with me, and he did have a good point. There were a couple moments that it's like, you know, where I could see some like Academy members being like, "I'm not going to vote for that for I'm not going to nominate that or vote for that for for screenplay." But I just feel like the dialogue is really good. Like we said, mm -hmm. there's some good comedic moments at the right time. There's some really mm -hmm. memorable lines and like good cultural stuff back then you know like how her mm -hmm. mom says like uh you know of course it's hard we're women or whatever yeah she says, you know like, and the class scene. difference with yes first second third and absolutely um, you know yeah but he did say greg was like okay so there's this old woman that's watching the news and she sees the <laughs> famous drawing of herself she calls bill paxton in his bleached hair which is so funny he looks so like <laughs> I feel like he's like Surfer a, a version of, like... of like Matthew McConaughey, right? I'm like, yes, okay, yeah, you know, yeah. yeah. Um, it's funny because I also feel like Bill Paxton is basically James Cameron, like so obsessed with going down yes. to see the wreckage. Right? Oh, I'm like, that's this interesting. This is a little yeah. meta, oh, yeah. right? Yeah, and that's funny because Bill Paxton kind of has a thing for uh, Rose's granddaughter, which is very minimal. It's more in the deleted scenes. And there's the alternate oh, ending, yeah. which is wacky, 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 wacky. wacky. Wait, we'll what's the alternate? Okay. Yeah. Let me know. I'll tell you about it. Um, but Greg's like, so wait a minute. She calls this guy to say like, yeah, that's me in the, in the, uh, drawing. And she even asks him, have you found the heart of the ocean? When it's like, wait, yeah, she has the necklace. So she's just instigating. She's just doing one big prank on these people. And he had another point that was really good. He's like, okay, so she's 101 years old. Why are you flying her out there? Can't she just talk on the phone? And I was like, okay. I think she was technically 100. So she's not uh, that old, right? Okay. She's, yeah, she could, she could get on the jet, <laughs> right? Yeah. Oh my but, gosh. you know, when you That's talk a good, about them, like, all right. that is all a right, good point. Like, Movie okay, ruiner. Why, oh. <laughs> why does she have to be there in person? But... I'm going to still stick with the way the movie is. I think it still makes a lot of sense for her to go there. They want to meet her. They want her to react to these objects that they found. And she's like, oh, my God, I remember this. You know, so I think that That's still true. works. But yeah. there are just a couple moments here and there where I'm like, you know, but they're dumb. I think so the script overall I is really I agree. Perfect. I understand where Greg's coming from. I did think that a little bit. I was like, this is a little far-fetched, this, like, the, mm. begin the whole beginning with, you know. I, d I will say that, um, but you know, for enjoyment and movie sake, I enjoyed it. So I still was like, oh, oh yeah. fun. <laughs> like yeah. the woman in the picture is me. I'm like, oh. That's oh, I know. I love yeah. that. I, I, she's like, yeah. I love how she says that line like to camera. She's like, well, that woman in the picture is me. Like she, <laughs> she has such fun lines. And same with Bill Paxton. He's a little corny. He's like, and that makes you my new best friend. You know? <laughs> yeah. he's like, it's like, but you know, I kind of like how he's so like obsessed with finding the heart of the ocean but yeah it is a little weird like he's kind of using her but then he ends up going along for the ride and like i love when they're all staring at her at one moment when she's telling the story and they're me all me too like, they well, in the middle and they're eyes. all like this that's a great and i remember <laughs> that moment the theater like laughed because they were us yeah. you know what i yeah. mean like yeah we were, were all totally, like what <laughs> yeah yeah it's, that's so, true they did represent us i never really realized until this rewatch she brought all those picture frames. <laughs> she sure, stuff. she sure goddamn did. And her and dog. She brought she like, yeah, and her dog, like, which we never, we see it once and then we never yeah. see it again. <laughs> um, um, yeah, all the I pictures. Forgot. I was like, 
I can't wait to be an old lady. She does I tell him with all my picture frames. Yeah, she's like, me. I travel with all my pictures, but also the a lot of the pictures are just of her. I'm like, okay, a little like uh, <laughs> self-centered rose. I mean, they are great, beautiful. All photos, minor headshots like, of me. Yeah. Just like, I'm like, like okay, that's years. you with a horse. That's you alone. That's you alone. That's you. I'm like, okay, <laughs> you said you had a husband. I didn't well, so, see him anymore. I mean, I was looking at the pictures this time because um, there were some yeah. things, things that her and Jack talked about on the Titanic, like riding a horse with the legs on each side. She's like, what? And then I was just yes. picture her with the ho- riding the uh-huh. horse, which I was like, okay, that's really cute. Like, I get yeah, why they that's did that. Really cute. Uh-huh. Um, and he was like, you're going to die. Like, this is where I got like emotional. He's like, you're going to die a little old lady in your bed. And that's exactly what happened. Exactly. I was like, I wrote that down. <laughs> He yeah, I, you know, yeah. there's certain things that, um, you know, he said that in, in the pictures kind of show. So I get I get what you're saying, like pictures of yourself. That is a little strange. Yes. Um, it is a but little I think weird, what it, they were trying to do is fits. look at the life she's led because she yeah. was so suffocated in the life that she had. And now she meets this handsome, you know, fun stranger who's done all these adventures. And, and yeah. she's just like, wow, I want to do that. I want to get out and get the fuck out of this, you know, high totally. society bullshit and live a life. And that's what she did. And then the pictures yeah. kind of show that like yep. her traveling and her on a horse and her with, you know, her family, you know, it's her with her family. And, yeah. um, yeah, she lived, sense. she lived a life. Like I totally. get, but I agree. I was like, it's a lot of pictures of yourself. And again, oh. like, when I travel, like I bring like my shampoo and my underwear, not like all my picture frames. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I guess I just thought like, little... even though it looks, don't get me wrong, it looks beautiful to have all these beautiful fold- photos yes. lined up. Yeah. And of course it makes sense for the shot. We see her, we're panning over here, we go through each and then we go to, you know. Um, but I just thought, wouldn't it have been A, more realistic and maybe even more effective possibly if she brings with her a photo album? Do you know what I mean? Oh, and that yeah. Way, that would make more sense for room in your luggage. I mean, let's right. be honest. It makes yeah. <laughs> sense to bring it on, right? It makes sense to bring it because she might have all these photos of her life that they would be looking through as well as she's mm-hmm. talking. So we could get, like, some more mileage <clears throat> out of a photo album than just two And they could have had it, like, you know? photo album opened and even yep. panning out to the, just the open oh, yeah. photo album with those same pictures. Like, that would Totally. Yeah, oh, yeah, but... She's also a hundred, so maybe like back in the day they brought picture frames with them. And I'm not I'm yeah. just being serious because I I wasn't there in nineteen twelve. So right. I don't know what they yeah. did. Like now I just I bring my cell right. phone with me with all my pictures of my dog. Exactly. You know? <laughs> yeah. When we're so, when we're a hundred, we'll be like, let me pull up my three D wall phone here thing that came our, out of my bag yeah. and I yeah. go bleep bleep. But yeah, maybe she's like, You and your newfangled photo albums, I bring <laughs> my picture frames. <laughs> right. Now I'm gonna ask you, Katie. Did you know, because, oh, well, uh, I'm getting ahead of myself. So she's sleeping, it's the frames, and then we go, you know, it's now tighter on her, and then we kind of go into the depths, and like I was saying, then it's a beautiful scene mm-hmm. of CGI of now we're going back oh, to 19. Beautiful. Yes, I love oh, that Oh, my shot. God. Oh, it's, it's beautiful. So it's and so it good. reminds me, I had forgotten, I loved, I was obsessed with this computer game that was Titanic, that was a mystery. I wonder if I ever showed it to you when we were kids. It was like on a, it was a PC game. Oh, and and it's funny because that shot of going through like the the hall makes me think of that computer game. Anyway, but so then it's her POV. The guy opens the door, which, by the way, I love a lot of the POV shots where mm-hmm. it's either Jack's POV and someone's opening a door or her and like beautiful. Yeah. But so then she goes in and we have all these people there. A lot of that people had died on the ship. That had died. Yes. Mm-hmm. And then, of course, there is Jack at the clock where he had given her that note earlier earlier in the film meet me at the clock make it count right and there he is and he grabs her hand and they kiss now i'll be honest and i feel kind of dumb saying this when i first saw the film i did not realize that that signified that she died i just thought, i like, sure okay, didn't either she okay you didn't either i okay, sure good. didn't I, either first I, watch I when i was 10 like, i was like oh she's right? having a dream yes you know I it was I, just a dream and yeah. she's just told this story and now he's think when all I these found... people are fresh in her mind right and yeah now she's just having a dream so yeah. Yeah, when do you think you realize like, oh, I'm sure someone told me that. It was like, oh, that I makes think so someone told sense. me. I want to say it was probably who my parents, yeah. I would say, because we saw it together. We were all talking about it. I probably they told me and I was like, oh, OK, because mm. um, I thought it was a dream. Um, I did not know. But now, you know, now I know. Now, you know, yeah. then the more, you know, you know, yep. um, but I want to say it was my parents that told me like, oh, no, yeah. that was her passing on and her going to he- like heaven. I'm like, oh, okay. it must have been friends. Maybe you told me or maybe CJ and Shayna or whoever I saw yeah. it with the second time because it didn't 
uh, and now as an adult, I totally get it. Don't get me wrong. Like, yes. I, you know, but I think as a kid, I was just like, oh, okay, she's dreaming. She's sleeping because mm -hmm. she, it's not like she's ill or anything from what I remember. It's not like right. she's, she's just a hundred. She's just old. <laughs> yeah. So I just but thought no, she was she's going to sleep. A... But then, yeah, it's obvious that, oh, these are people that died. Like you see Fabrizio, you see the band, you see mm -hmm. Victor Garber, who's the guy Victor who Garber. designed the ship, right? Yeah. Great. Um, mm -hmm. And then there's Jack. So it makes a lot of sense. But wow, that scene. I'll be honest. I like replayed today like three times. I love that. Oh, and it, that one I definitely got emotional too because it's yeah. like it's like they were all like waiting for her, like the, all yeah. the Titanic because there she's in the spot where you know they all died and where like, she should have died, you know all yep. you know. Um, and yeah. they were like waiting for her, like welcome, like welcome, yep. you know, they, welcoming they, they, her into the fold of like yep. the and now yeah, she's right? where she belongs with with her guy and with all these people that sort of like opened her world, you know, and mm -hmm. like actually gave her joy. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm getting choked up now, but it is a I beautiful know. ending. It's really yeah. nice. And then oh. we just kind of like go up to the light. Uh, like I said, I've seen this movie a bunch, but this latest rewatch really, I really was hit by the absolute um, classism, like mm -hmm. how the poor people were locked behind the gates so i had heard that oh wasn't true i think that was oh, debunked yeah. they weren't actually locked but i'm not i just that was one of the few like oh, last minute facts and when we were i was waiting to come on the show here oh yeah uh, i was reading i was like oh so i think that might have been debunked that they weren't locked but definitely they didn't get on the lifeboats like the first and second no. i mean um right. there was definitely classism with that they're like oh, oh you guys God. just go over there tell uh, you told me i want you to tell what you told me about the dance party down below in the third class there's a little connection here you are there is a connection to that to i us. have forgotten about another core it. memory um so in the dance scene where um where rose does the ballet thing and they do the polka dance and it's just such a fun fun scene when yeah. rose does the ballet um toes and there's the woman that says jesus mary and joseph that is a friend, an old friend of my mother's, Linda I Kearns. Linda Kearns. Linda Kearns. Oh. Linda Kearns, yes. Um, she did Broadway for a while and she had a couple, you know, scenes in Titanic. And um, I think she, That's my amazing. mom thinks she's teaching at UCLA right now. But um, wow. yeah, what a can I was like, wow, like that's so, you know, I was watching. I'm like, that text the market meeting, like, I forgot my mom's oh friend my is God. in this. I'm um, so, so glad like a you fun... told me because I was yeah. I was watching. I knew you said when when uh, Rose does the crazy ballet toes. That's when and I'm like, and I was like glued to the screen. And she says right. it, and I feel like she actually is in because we don't really see her again much, but she is she... I think in a deleted scene. Okay, and she yeah. is one of the bodies in the water. Oh, um, is she? she is oh, one of the bodies in the water. I think yes, I remember her. Yes, I, oh, yeah. Wow. Um, and I think she's in another scene. So, but quick, yeah. Wow. But that, but she had a line in that movie, and my mom was so excited for her. They used to act in a in the play a playhouse in the seventies together. Oh, so, I love that. Um, so I don't think much. they're they're in super, like touch as much anymore. But my mom's yeah. uncle, or my mom's uncle, my mom's brother, my uncle is is probably still. She thinks is still oh, in touch with her. That. But yeah, so excited. So my mom's like, she has a line like in the biggest, oh. highest grossing movie of all time. That's a major. Um, I'm so happy for her. I don't even know her, but I am so happy that she was able to be in this amazing, amazing movie and not only have a line, but yeah, like you said, she's in a few moments. She worked on this yeah, for a, a, probably did. a while. Yeah. Because I know yeah. it's shot forever. And um, I never realized it's shot in a big studio, of course. It's funny because mm -hmm. I... And I'm just so gullible. I'm like, wow, they're shooting this all outside. That had to be so hard. Obviously not. They're shooting it in a <laughs> studio where you can control lighting. Because my yeah. latest short film, I have learned I am never doing all the scenes outside ever again. Because the sun changes. And yep. it's a bitch. It's a but, bitch, um, yeah. <laughs> but I know they shot this in Baja. In, in like uh, California, oh. Mexico. Like right on the border in Mexico in a big studio. So that would make sense if she is teaching in California. Maybe she lives in California and lived there at the time and just went down to Mexico. to. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, you know? I, I, that, I didn't even think about that. Yeah. But yeah, um, yeah fun connection. I um, love that. And you are yeah. what? You're like two degrees away from this movie. It's like you, your mom. Yeah, my mom, my mom's friend. Wow. Um, and we yeah. have to talk about before. Yes. We have to talk about My Heart Will Go On by Celine Dion. Those first few notes. What oh a hit. God what and hit. and and originally james cameron was uh did not want a song at the end of the movie he thought it would be like oh. too hokey and yeah. so um james horner secretly recorded it with celine dion um and she didn't even want to yeah. sing it she was like no nah. 
thanks so much for watching. Next time, there's going to be a new movie that we'll talk about, so stay tuned. And please follow Release Date Rewind on Instagram for updates. Bye.